Today was a crazy busy day. I mean, the drawers are even like left open. Dishes are piled up because I didn't empty the dishwasher. <laughs> I got broken eggs in the container on the counter. This is how it looks at the end of a school day or a regular day for us before we transition to dinner time and evening stuff. Stuff left out on the table. Osmo was taken out, played with, not returned. We got coloring books that were pulled out and then left. The dog's toy. Morning baskets a little disassembled. Oh look, under the table. Bunch of stuff. Magnet tiles. An empty box. These are all the books that we're donating. This is a gift from my mother. This is a box of stuff that's getting donated. More books that are getting donated. Shoes that aren't in the right place. Fairy kit that's not in the right place. Laundry from swim lessons. The list of things I need to go find in my homeschool closet. Refill container for the dog's treat. Some frames I bought upstairs that don't fit the posters I got the boys, so they gotta go back in the basement. A pair of shorts, bunch of dog hair, a pair of shoes, a jacket, dog hair, toys not in the bin, more toys and things. And our kitchen. You know how sometimes you just you're in your house or you've just come home and you want to clean like one thing. You want to get the kitchen back in order, you want to clean the kitchen, you want to clean your floors, whatever it might be, but you have to tidy up. You have to put everything back where it belongs. This is one of those days for me. This happened in 24 hours. Normally we keep this pretty clear, but last night this ended up here because I didn't put it where it belonged and then it was contagious with more clutter. In fact, the National Soap and Detergent Association said that getting rid of clutter can reduce 40% of your housework. And now that I have removed thousands of things from our home, I would say that was reduced maybe by 40%. There's no way for me to quantify. I do know that I have a hack that I have not shared yet on this channel that we do when we tidy up and I'm gonna share it with you. We have a clutter basket and here's what we do. We go around and we do a floor check on everything. Everything that is on the floor that cannot be easily put back into its home goes in the basket. And we do a quick zip around of the floor and get everything into this basket. Then we put things away from the basket. So it's all about centralizing, quickly getting everything off the floor and into the basket and then putting everything where it belongs. We always end up with trash in there. We always end up with things like shoes and clothes, underwear, things that just should have been put away but were thrown on the floor because you have kids and that's what kids do. What's that? Uh, clutter basket. Clutter basket, let's do it. I'm a clutter basket holder. That's clutter. not where my socks belong. No. Clutter basket. Clutter basket. You know, you might feel like you have too much stuff and it's hard to find time and motivation to declutter your entire house. And so one day works at a time. I got this way because I decluttered one day at a time for two years. But you know, on those days when you just don't have enough of the one day at a time or one box at a time, and you really just need to get in there and clean your kitchen because it's driving you nuts, then this clutter hack might be for you. Tidying habits lead to a routine of having less mess day to day and habit building takes time, like emptying the dishwasher every morning, putting things back when they're be where they belong, right when you're done using them. And it certainly helps when the kids do their part, my husband does his part, and really everybody who lives in the house does their part. Uh, you know, I always allow myself some grace and forgiveness that yeah, you know what? Clutter happens, it builds up. Life is messy, we have a family, but it's real easy to hit the real set, reset button now. So now that we actually got everything off the floor, we can see all the little ranger bunnies, right? Look at all the ranger bunnies. I wanna clean the kitchen, clean the, ugh, I can talk. Clean the kitchen and clean the floor. So where do we put our clutter basket? Um, I don't know. But I'll find it. Okay, thanks. Why I detailed more about this clutter hack down in a blog post. I'll leave it in the description box. But ultimately, the big picture answer is creating a household routine that you can stick to. You can assign jobs to kids, to yourself, to your spouse, and you can stick to the routine. It's actually not that much. Look, no problem, right?
I'll put this clay back where it belongs. I do not know where this belongs. Well, that doesn't actually have a home, which is why it ends well, up on the, the floor. Bathroom. I think the boys' room, I think right on your dresser would be fine. How about dinosaurs? Where do, where do they live? <laughs> Whoopsie, dropped him. All right, let's put him where he belongs. Okay, Brandon, that's a good spot for it. Actually, you have a basket of dinosaurs in your room. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This goes in the quiet work basket. Okay. This is to go back inside the game. A whole bunch of toys. This is my plant marker, so I need that. And this is toys. And then this was our pile of trash. Okay, I mean, tell me other houses are like this. <laughs> Where kids like just leave their snacks all over the place. Our household routine of the things that I thought really needed to get done on a daily basis, I use the same five-step methodology that I applied to decluttering or organizing anything that I want to change, big or small. A kitchen drawer, our entire house, our household routine. It's vision, action, organization, routines, and systems. So what is the vision for your household schedule? Mapping that out on paper might help. Like, I know I want to get these five things done every day in order for me to be able to give my kitchen a clean by 11 a.m. Take action on the routine. Put your routine to test and really go through the day and see where you can organize a little bit better to make it go smoother. Something a little more effortless. Once you've got the vision and the action and the organization of what you want to do done, you start to have a routine. You start to build habits and habits create systems. So if you want a video about how I created my household routine with these five steps, let me know and I'll go into more detail and I'll share my household routine with you guys. Alright, now I gotta clean my kitchen, but this is not a clean with me video, this is a video about dealing with clutter quickly. Thank you for watching. Would love if you would subscribe to the channel and be part of our family. And here's another video.